Okay, mother, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. Okay, on the opposite end, somebody could be smothering you, um, abandoning you. This could be a bad mother. I already seen that came out, uh, smothering. Mother, bad mother, abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent. So there's independence here. I feel like you're somebody very independent or um, you could not really share your emotions, feelings. Okay, brother. Wow. Eight of Swords. Somebody's brother could be locked up, locked up in jail, or this is what they're trying to do. Trying to trap them in some way, shape, or form. Get in their head or brainwash them. Five of Coins. Could be homeless or some kind of poverty. Poverty thinking is what it feels like um, more so. Poverty thinking, lack mentality, worried about finances, insecurities. They could be out in the cold, very needy. Someone's stuck in traps. Brother. So masculine. So this must, you must be the brother. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're somebody very independent. Or dealing with somebody very independent or trying to reclaim your independence. What else about a brother, please? Eight of Swords. I'm no longer focused on you. Five of Coins. At this point, I'm mentally and emotionally exhausted from you. You got me fucked up. Is this this King of Cups communicating this? So this is either the brother or your brother. King of Cups. I seen recently in one of the readings somebody was trying to force their brother to take care of them. Unfair blame, pointing the finger, doing it all on your own. Somebody's doing it all on their own or they have to now. It's time to use more common sense in the situation. Stop daydreaming and get more realistic. New job, new career opportunity. So maybe you're supporting a brother or this is a brother supporting somebody. No longer focused on them. Mentally, emotionally exhausted. Wow. You could be having compassion for a mother or motherly energy at this time or feminine energy. It's Aquarius energy is here. No longer focused on them. Recovery. Re you're recovering from some insecurities that either your brother instilled on you or they instilled onto you, the brother. You're being given the key to unlock some new door. You're not focused on somebody. Whoever was making you feel insecure. You're somebody very intuitive. You could be a psychic masculine or psychic man. Highly sensitive spiritually. You've emotionally matured. Somebody looks like they've been brainwashing you and stuff, trying to keep you tied up and stuff and have you feeling insecure or have you f trying to be a bum or lack, lack mentality or trying to get you to be homeless. They could be homeless or in bad health. At this point, I'm mentally and emotionally exhausted. You're tired of somebody trying to block your damn path or your pathway. You're tired of somebody trying to confuse you about something. You're not playing the victim no more. Eight of 
exhausted emotionally, mentally. My heart belongs to you. My heart belongs to you, dear. Returning. They're stunting your growth. There will be an apology soon. They could have been doing spell work or dark magic on you. New career opportunity. The moon. Someone's afraid. Maybe they're afraid to get a job or a new job or to work. They look like they got... This is a victim mentality. Eight of swords and five of coins is self-victimization or victim mentality. Poor me, save me. Do they want money from you? Yeah. They don't want to come out of their comfort zone or take action on something. They need to move on from that and get a new job or get a job and work and take responsibility for themselves. Unfair blame, they're pointing the finger at you. You're somebody independent or you're becoming independent, but whoever this is definitely needs to learn to become independent. Nine of Swords. They could have some kind of trauma or daddy issue, mommy issue. Pointing the finger at you. There could have been some kind of cheating or infidelity here involved. Um, you could be divorced or whoever this is could be divorced or divorcing. Unfaithfulness. Somebody's stressing because you're not supporting them, not being generous with them not taking care of them or not taking care of them anymore not sharing their your wealth with them Virgo Taurus Capricorn yeah that's not your problem that's not it's one thing to be generous and help somebody um, every blue moon or you know emergencies but I feel like this is somebody that's expecting you to just take care of them on a regular basis either some sibling, brother, possibly sister. Somebody in your family is just expecting you to constantly give to them or take care of them. I feel like I feel like this is not just a every blue moon thing. Yeah, they want you to give. They want you to give. They want you to share constantly on a regular basis. They want you to clean up their messy situation. You could be embarrassed by them. There could be another masculine involved here. They could be making assumptions about you. You're working on your money. You're hustling. You're ready to provide, but I don't feel like it's to whoever this is. Maybe you've been taking care of your brother. You're focused on, on your money. Union is in the air, but are you ready? Take care of any unfinished business. Somebody's incredibly insecure. Whoever this is in your family is just standing in the way of something better for you. They could have OCD. They're nervous because they can tell you're starting to wake up. Yeah, you guys are not communicating much. <clears throat> or you have them blocks. My throat chakra is closing up. Um, or you're struggling to tell them the truth or communicate something to them or be honest with them. They can tell you're noticing their deception and their manipulation. Yeah, you're done with this grief. This grief, this pain, this confusion. Whatever, they're, whatever else they're doing to you. You're just exhausted. 